Saint Joseph, Joseph the Carpenter. Saint Joseph, we praise you. Saint Joseph, 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 pray for us. Saint Joseph, Joseph, hardworking man. Saint Joseph, we praise you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear children, you're most welcome to Children's Liturgy on Uganda Catholic Television, Good News for All. I'm Dorothy Atire Sonko. Today is the first Sunday of Lent in year B. And you're welcome, children, to journey these 40 days with our friend Jesus, who will be in the desert praying for us and also doing the will of God. Let us have our opening prayer. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. My Bible tells me so. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father in heaven, we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for the gift of Mother Church. Father, we pray for the sick. We pray for the needy. We pray, we pray for all the people who don't have food. Father, bless this program as we are going to start it. Bless it as it is going to end. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Previously, we talked about Saint Joseph. Remember, we talked about this year of 2021 being the year that all of us in the Catholic Church were called by His Holiness, Pope Francis, to honor Saint Joseph as the protector and the guardian of the church. And last time we talked about his virtues. You remember some of the virtues that we talked about? We talked about his humility, his kindness, and his hard work. So children, let us reflect more about those virtues, that way of life that St. Joseph lived. He lived as a humble man, he was a very kind man, and he was very hardworking. Lent is a special time that prepares us for Easter, and it begins on Ash Wednesday. Those of us who had an opportunity to pray on Ash Wednesday. Remember, the priest who celebrated Mass got ashes and made a sign of the cross on our forehead. And it was significant, it was important that the priest did that to remind us that we were created out of dust and to dust we shall return. And also, it was a call during this time we are called to live the life of the gospel so that we are able to emulate the life of jesus our example we are called to follow in the example of jesus god of life your son jesus went into the desert to pray and to talk to you so that he gets closer to you. Help us to get closer to you as we listen to your word. Speak to us, dear Jesus, for you are our preacher. Open our hearts to receive your word. A 
reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 1, verse 12 to 15. At that time, the Spirit drove Jesus out in the wilderness, and he was in the wilderness forty days, tempted by Satan. And he was with the wild beasts, and the angels ministered to him. Now after John was arrested, Jesus came into Galilee preaching the gospel of God and saying, The time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today being the first Sunday of Lent, our reading, as you have heard, is from the gospel according to Mark chapter 1, verse 12 to 15. And today we hear how Jesus spent 40 days in the desert. Do you know what a desert is? A desert is a dry land where it is hard to grow food and also it doesn't have water. In the desert, people really get hungry and thirsty. And that is what happened to Jesus. He went in the desert. He hardly had food and also water. But what kept him in the desert was prayer. Jesus went to pray. And as Jesus prayed, there was the Holy Spirit and the angels. But also, Satan was there to disturb him, to tempt him, to distract him from prayer. But in all, in the, in all the 40 days, Jesus was able to pray because the Holy Spirit and the angels were close to him. Dear children, during this time of Lent, we have three major pillars or we can call them three major ways on how we can live well on how we can get closer to god and also get closer to each other through love and this is what we are called to do we are called to pray one of the pillars is prayer another pillar is fasting another pillar is alms giving what is prayer prayer is when we are able to talk to god when we are able to communicate with god when we are able to tell god what we feel in our hearts or what we desire or what we wish for when we are, and also when we are able to listen to God. Prayer is not only about talking and talking and talking, but also listening to what God is calling us for, what God is telling us, what God would like us to do. Another pillar is fasting. Fasting is like abstinence, avoidance, not, not doing something. For example, we fast food, but also we can fast in our ways of doing things. For example, we can fast from telling lies, from stealing, from giving false witness. Every time when we have to say someone has done this, yet they have not done it. So we can fast from all that. And then when we fast from all the bad things, then we are able to do good things. You fast from telling lies and you're able to tell the truth. You fast from stealing and you're able to be contented with what you have. You fast from uh, giving false witness and you're able, you know, to always respect that person, the dignity of that person, and also live in truth. Another pillar is alms giving, acts of charity. We children are called children helping children. Remember, that is our call, through loving, sharing, and caring. 
all that is possible when we give ourselves, when we give what we have. For example, sharing our clothes. And when I talk about sharing our clothes, I mean those very nice clothes that if you put on, you'd be very happy with yourself, you'd feel confident, and they are the best also to share, sharing some food. And also, we can share a smile, finding someone lonely and sad, and you give them a smile. So you see, we have many things to share. You can even listen to someone. You share your ear, your listening ear, your attention. You share that with someone and it is nice. So during this time of Lent, dear children, as we journey with Jesus, our friend, our savior, our role model, let us try to practice the three pillars, the three ways that we are called to live. Praying, fasting, and almsgiving. God of love, we thank you for loving us and calling us to be your children as we journey with Jesus, our model and our friend. Give us the grace to always pray to you. Let us present our prayers and petitions. We pray for the Pope, the bishops, and all the clergy that the good Lord may guide them in their work of evangelization, especially in preaching the word of forgiveness. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Pray to the Lord for forgiveness, especially that we have annoyed him. May the, may the good Lord save us from COVID-19 and other deadly diseases. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the sick and all those suffering in various ways that the good Lord may comfort them and restore their happiness. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Okay. We pray for the families, especially the broken ones, that they may learn to forgive each other and live in harmony. We pray for all the children in Uganda so, so that they may learn to forgive each other. Mm, Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. May domestic violence and child abuse come to an end. St. Joseph, give love to all suffering children in the world. Saint Joseph, may all children and people live as brothers and sisters. Saint Joseph, protect all the church leaders and help them to lead all people to Jesus. Saint Joseph, teach all fathers to care and love their children and families. Saint Joseph, give work to all jobless youth and parents. Saint Joseph, may all children grow in the ways of God like Jesus. My name is Mujeres Zakerevo, St. Joseph, give work to all jobless youths and parents. Alleluia, alleluia, son of God. Our memory verse is from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1, verse 12. At once the Spirit led him in the desert. At once, the Spirit led him in the desert. The Spirit led Jesus in the desert so that he was able to pray. And also, we are called to journey with Jesus, to join Jesus in this desert so that we are able to pray with him and also to live a life that is very pleasing to God. And we can do that by loving, sharing, and caring when we follow the three pillars of Lent. That is praying, fasting, and almsgiving. 
for this week we are glad to have had some of you share your videos about the year of saint joseph and in a special way we shall see the candidates of p7 from saint joseph's primary school chabirukwa in isinjiro district they shared their their videos with us and also they they did an act of charity with the elderly nuns in the community so let's see what they have to share with us children for the candidates of primary seven from St. Joseph's Primary School Chabiruqua and we are praying for you our dear brothers and sisters the P7 candidates all around Uganda that Mother Mary seat of wisdom grants you all the wisdom that you need to excel and we are praying for your protection also to be safe at school so that you're able to sit your exams and pass with flying colors for this week our activity we shall share videos about how we are going to live in this lenten se season how are we going to live how are we going to practice the three pillars of lent prayer fasting and alms giving please share with us how are you going to live in these 40 days with Jesus, our friend? 
and the year of Saint Joseph is on. We are saying that we also have three major activities for this year of Saint Joseph. One is composing poems, songs, and uh, prayers to honor Saint Joseph. Share the videos with us. Share those prayers with us, those nice poems with us, so that we are able to celebrate together. Then another activity is caring for the elderly, doing acts of charity for the elderly, our grandparents, if you know old priests in your parishes, if you know old religious nuns and brothers, please go reach out to them, show them some love. Remember, they were once like us. All those old people were once children. They grew, they shared their love, they shared their wisdom. And it is time also for us, you know, to share with them that love that they nurtured in us, that love that they shared with us. And another activity is we are called to plant trees. At least plant a tree. Plant a Saint Joseph tree. And share the photo of your tree. We, we are looking at having 10,000 trees before the end of the year, if it is possible. Imagine if we all came together, planted trees, then we shall also be caring for the environment. And we shall also be answering to another call of caring for the earth. Because remember, whatever grows on the earth feeds us. So dear children, in this year of St. Joseph, the three pillars, the three activities that we are looking at is composing songs, poems, caring for the elderly, and also planting trees. Let's do it, dear children. Let's do it for St. Joseph. Let's do it for Jesus. And thank you very much for praying together. It's always a joy that we are growing together in faith as children of one family. And remember, God loves you. Jesus loves you and he really cares for each and every one of us. Thank you, production team. Thank you, the liturgy teachers and the parents for all your efforts, your cooperation to always give us the feedback of the lessons. May God bless you all. Keep happy. God loves you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bye. See you next Sunday. Oh, bye. Bye, bye.